Good afternoon, my name is Alan Ko. Today's health talk topic is actually diabetes and how energy medicine serves to support our body's metabolic processes against diabetes. Diabetes is truly a disease of metabolism. It's something wrong with the metabolic processes of insulin and therefore insulin cannot be produced sufficiently to push sugar from the blood into cells so we got high blood sugar levels. And when the blood sugar is too high over prolonged periods of years, there'll be constant nerve damage and blood vessel damage, causing myriads of other conditions along the way. So we really got to improve the metabolic processes. Whatever is hereditary, genetic, of course, there's nothing much can be done, but there's a lot of environment factors or rather environmental factors that can be adjusted by energy medicine. So if even diabetes cannot be totally cured, at least it will be well controlled by energy medicine. World Health Organization already mentioned that there's an incidence of one in every 10 people getting uh, diabetes in, in our lifetime. Therefore, some 700 million people will contract uh, this disease in their lifetime. What are the signs and symptoms of diabetes? Excessive urine production, thirst, blood vision, unexplained weight loss, lethargy, and serious long-term complications can be heart and blood vessel diseases, chronic kidney failure, eye retinal damage that can lead to blindness, microvascular, the small blood vessels damage may, may even cause impotence, sexual dysfunction, and generalized, generalized poor wound healing throughout the body, whether it's the skin wounds, whether it's the liver or kidney wounds, wound healing will be very much slowed down if we got this uh, long-term high blood sugar level. Then, if it gets serious enough, gangrene formation, ulcer formation can happen and therefore possibly leading to amputation of the limbs. Other long-term complications will be loss of sensation of of pain or any uh, touch and smell and so on due to diabetic neuropathy. Neuro means nerve, pathy means disease of the nerves. And other long-term complication of diabetes is liver damage, like fatty liver, etc. So the question is, can this be avoided? Can amputations be avoided in diabetic people? Can the ulcer eating into the bone, still a living person, avoided? This is a good healing. Somehow they did something about it and the healing was quite good. But not this one. This toe is waiting for amputation. This is still not too bad, but bad still. And this is actually considered good, even though it looks so um, much of the area being darkened. And some of these are quite finished. And even the fingers can be gangrenous. And once gangrene is not controlled, then uh, septicemia means uh, germs going into the blood leading to fatality could occur. And so sometimes there's no choice but to amputate some of these digits or limbs. This is scrotal diabetic gangrene where there's not enough blood flow to the uh, scrotum and it's a very painful process for men. Diabetic retinopathy will be partial blindness on the left of the screen is a uh, normal vision. On the right is diabetic vision. Some of these are diabetic visions of different severity. This is getting worse. And um, then come into damage to the kidneys. These are the major organs damaged first, usually before any other organs. The kidneys, the eyes, the skin, and the heart. But liver can be dam damaged, sexual organs can be damaged, etc. Dialysis, very costly, very inconvenient not normal uh, to the tune of having our own healthy kidneys. So don't allow such thing to occur, which at the end of the session, you understand how to do so. Understand first the causes of diabetes. There are two types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is insulin required because the producing cells are totally destroyed, or much of them are totally destroyed. What destroys this insulin producing cells in our pancreas, it is the immune cells that have gone haywire. And that's why it's called an autoimmune attack. Automatically, our unhealthy immune cells actually attack and destroy the insulin producing cells. 
And what can cause an autoimmune attack? Possibly by infection with a specific virus or bacterium yet to be identified. Or can be just simply exposure to chemical toxin. So you can expect how important detoxication is. And even exposure as a very young infant to cow's milk. Always remember, cow's milk is for calves. But human breast milk is for our human babies. But nowadays, with women going to the workforce, they tend to start young infants very early in life with uh, cow's milk rather than human breast milk. Now, in, hum in cow's milk, there's something unusual yet to be identified component that trigger off the autoimmune attack. And so when they grow up, the immune cells have gone a bit funny, um, abnormal, and start attacking our healthy tissues to destroy them. In this case, it's destroying the pancreatic cells to cause diabetes type 1. Another cause of diabetes type 1 is insulin resistance. Yes, could have enough insulin, but they're not working. The sequence of amino acid making up this um, particular um, insulin is simply uh, not quite in the co correct sequence. Like when you uh, do deep fat frying and all those, the, the amino acids can go quite haywire. Uh, so insulin resistance, in fact, combined with reduced or no insulin secretion would simply mean that there's not enough insulin to push um, blood sugar into the cells and therefore it remains very high in the blood where the sugar level is concerned. Then what about type 2 diabetes, which is still got some good um, living cells inside the pancreas. So you don't need injections in this case, just take tablets to uh, support the um, insulin production. Now, what are the risk factors? Who are more at risk to get this diabetes type 2? People got central fat around their abdominal, abdominal area. And um, also those who age prematurely. In fact, 20% of elderly patients in North America co have, would have contracted diabetes. And in the last 10 years, type 2 diabetes also have increasingly eat into children and adolescents because of the increased prevalence of childhood obesity. Remember, one of the risk factor of developing diabetes is having high fat percentage in our body for prolonged number of years. So cut down our fat percentage, reduce our weight. If you are overweight, would do justice to reducing type 2 diabetes. Family history of diabetes is not something we can do very much about. It's the, the weak genes from our, our ancestors. But environmental exposure, which is a correlation uh, found between type 2 diabetes and the urine concentration of a plastic called bisphenol A that is in most of the plastic bottles uh, that, we, that, that are housed, those um, like mineral water, Coca-Cola, you know, uh, all sorts of uh, soft drinks. You, you see plastic bottles nowadays, no more glass bottles. And that contact time between the liquid and eating into the plastic would make concentration of plastic or harmful plastic inside the liquid um, more so the longer we store the, um, the, the water or the liquid inside these plastic bottles. Another reason, and for that matter, the detox part is very important. If you understand how to do electric energy treatment to do the detox, then diabetes caused by this part, particular bisphenol A will not occur too easily at all. Another reason why people develop type 2 diabetes is simply not exercising enough or at all. Not talking about ordinary walking and window shopping. Those are two leisurely type of exercise. We are supposed to sweat a fair bit, pen a fair bit uh, for many hours of the day doing that. Then it's very, very healthy. For example, farmers, fishermen, hunters, all these people, got their job description is already exercise. But not in modern days, sad to say. So electric energy is the most important treatment to fight or rather to support your body's metabolic processes to fight uh, insulin uh, being lacking in our body. So by charging all our cells fully from a weak electrical activity to a very healthy electrical activity, more oxygen and nutrients will go into the cells and more toxic and acidic waste harmful chemicals will be flushed out or metabolized. This will make the insulin producing cells very, very functional and healthy and we have seen lots and lots of diabetic people who went through energy medical treatment 
and there's natural no side effects and more insulin will produce and so their doctors have got no choice but keep on reducing their western medications so at this healthy range there's a much better uh, absorption not only of oxygen and nutrients but at the same time an increased outflux of toxins and uh, leading to metabolisms of insulin improved dramatically and for magnetic field energy treatment another energy treatment this treatment enhances blood flow to the pancreas. When the pancreas receives more oxygen and nutrients, uh, oxygen can power the metabolic processes of insulin synthesis or production, and also the nutrients can form enzymes to speed up these chemical, biochemical processes of insulin production. At the same time, nutrients are also raw materials to form the big insulin substance itself so you need enhanced absorption of both oxygen and nutrients to reduce diabetes because magnetic field can drain away toxins through the improvement of blood circulation the toxins will not be able to re-enter the pancreatic cells and disturb metabolisms of insulin again. So the production of is insulin even yet better through this magnetic field treatment rather than just depend on electric energy treatment. That's a that's synergy, in other words, in these two treatments combined. Magnetic field treatment is also a proven treatment for pain. Like some people got diabetes because of chronic pancreatitis, which is inflammation of the uh, pancreas. Now when they apply um, uh, magnetic field onto the area, the pain can be reduced. So abdominal pain, pelvic pain, uh, ketoacidosis pain cause, uh, I mean amongst people who got diabetes would tend to be reduced um, by applying magnetic field to the body. Magnetic treatment also strengthens each and every living immune cell in our body counteracting some of the causes of diabetes like autoimmune attack, infectious uh, infection of the pancreatic organ, causing pancreatitis. All this can be reduced by magnetic field strengthening our immune system. Immune cells can kill germs. Immune cells become healthy, will not attack our own pancreatic cells to cause autoimmune diabetic, diabetes type 1. Now some infected areas, diabetic wounds, can also be counteracted by strengthening our immune cells to a very functional capacity so that they can recognize germs and kill them off so the ulcer will not keep on spreading, the gangrene will not keep on enlarging in, in area. So it's important, that's the importance of magnetic field treatment. Far infrared is another energy treatment I want to talk about, how it helps in diabetes. Again, inflammations can be reduced by far infrared better than by magnetic field. Far infrared alleviates any place that's got swelling, drain away the excess uh, liquid, and once the bulk of the swelling reduces in size and therefore not pressuring or pushing against the pain nerves, the pain will be reduced at the same time. So you've got two modes of energy treatment reducing pain. One is the um, uh, magnetic field treatment, proven treatment to reduce pain. The other one is the far infrared that reduces the swelling and therefore reducing inflammatory pain in particular. Pancreatitis is an inflammation of the pancreas and by putting far infrared against the pancreatic area, then you'll find that uh, such um, inflammation will be reduced. But far infrared has another very spectacular uh, benefit and that's the removal of heavy metal toxins from the pancreatic cells so that the steps of biosynthesis of insulin will not be hindered or interrupted by such toxic harmful chemical burdens. So detox, again, is also done by far infrared. Thermosibustion, on the other hand, is to dilate blood vessels. It's a, thermos means heat. When you heat up an area, things dilate. So blood vessels dilate, cause even a better blood flow, a good rush of uh, oxygen and nutrients to the pancreatic area to speed up self-repair, self-recovery uh, processes. And because of this dilatation of blood vessels, blood vessels going out of the um, pancreatic area will also drain away more toxins so that they cannot re-enter the pancreatic cells to cause uh, disturbance of the metabolism of insulin again or its production. By the way, moxibustion is also the stimulation of the uh, meridian points 
to unblock qi channels if there's any blockages or maintain good qi flow qi is also a requirement by the way qi is energy qi is also a requirement to reduce uh, um, diseases and to maintain good health in organs that receive good qi flow and our benefit of tamoxifen is the dissolving of blood clots to the production of more thrombolytic enzymes. So all add together, there's no option but for diabetes to improve. Thank you very much.